Holy cringe, Batman. From the producers of Supergirl. Well, that explains it. Supergirl is whacked. I mean, just cringeworthy. Just feminazi garbage. No wonder this show sucks. It's from the same people who made Supergirl. Laying it on a little thick there, aren't we? I'm a woman. Really? I mean, as if we didn't get it the first time. You know, you don't have to hit us over the head with the fact that that woman is a woman. You know, you don't have to be so ham-fisted. Yes, we know Batwoman is a woman. It's in the title. And, wow. Like, it's not enough that they just beat it into us. The soundtrack has got to say, I'm a woman. Oh my gosh. Cringe. You're a female Bruce Wayne. Awesome. Hilarious. Handsome. Okay, I like Batman. I really like the Batman character. But hilarious? That is not a word I would use to describe Bruce Wayne. Bruce Wayne was not hilarious. You know, he was debonair, he was charming, he was, um, you know, good looking. But he was not hilarious. Also, she's not the female Bruce Wayne. She's not independently wealthy. She's not the head of a major corporation. Um, she's not a you know, playboy or playgirl, whatever the woman version is for that. Uh, she's not a. She doesn't seem like a socialite the way Bruce Wayne is. Um, yeah, she's not the female Bruce Wayne. And I don't think so. It changed the here to a her. Clever, but still a little cringy. It's they think I'm him. Oh well, yeah, of course they think you're Batman. You dress like a bat. I mean, you took his suit and made it to fit a woman, so, and it's dark, and you're on the top of a building, like, you know, I don't know how many thousands of feet, or hundreds of feet above the sidewalk, so of course people are going to think you're Batman. I'm not about to let a man take credit for a woman's work. Oh my gosh, cringy. I'm not about to let a man take Take credit for a woman's work. Uh, that's exactly what... Well, you just took credit for a man's work. I mean, the bad woman didn't... She did nothing. She didn't create the bat cave. A man did it. She didn't create the technology for the bat suit. A man did it. Two men did it. Lucius and the Batman. The... You know, the reputation was not made by a woman. The reputation of the Bat crime fighter was made by a man. So, a man created everything, and then you basically break into his house, you force your way down into the Bat Cave, you tell his custodian or his security guard or butler or whatever the hell he is to make you a suit like you don't make it yourself the way he did and then you turn around and say you're not gonna let a man take credit for a woman's work oh my god who wrote this nonsense what Hollywood hack wrote this crap and then another thing and this is something that some other videos have brought up so this is not about fighting crime, right? Because if you're a crime fighter, you don't care what people think. Like if you really, really wanted to help the residents of Gotham, 
you wouldn't care that people think you're a man. You'd be like, in fact, that would actually help you because it would be harder for them to figure out who your identity is. I mean, can you imagine if you're a female crime fighter <clears throat> and everyone thinks you're a dude? Your, your secret identity is pretty safe. And if, so, and if you really thought about fighting crime, you'd be like, I don't care who they think I am. Because the important thing is that I'm helping people in fighting crime. Not that people give credit to my gender. Oh my gosh. Why? See, feminists can't write good stories. Feminists write pure crap, pure garbage. Social justice warriors cannot write a good story. They write crap. I mean, seriously. This is not a show about a superhero who just happens to be a lesbian. This is a show about a lesbian who just happens to be a superhero. And there's a difference. There is a difference. When you make your character all about her identity, that she's a woman, that she's a lesbian, that she's a this or a that or a, you know, a person of color... If you make that the primary thing and you make her job the secondary, like if you make the fact that she's a superhero secondary, then it's not really a superhero show. You know what I mean? I think smart people out there will know what I mean. Like there's a difference between a really, really good character that just happens to be you know, a person of color or a woman or gay versus... Someone who's gay, someone who's like person of color, someone who's female, and then they also happen to be this other thing, whether it be a superhero or whether it be, you know, a whatever character. Social justice warriors seem to have confused the two things. That is so cheesy. Oh, so I'm assuming that's why she put on the red hair. Because she wants everyone to know she's a woman. Because as we all know, that's the most important thing. The important thing is not fighting crime. The important thing is not saving people's lives. It's the fact that everybody knows it's a woman and not a man. Oh my gosh, that is so, so cringe. That's really sad. You know, this could have been a good show. This could have been a, you know, pretty good show. Like a cool female character fighting crime. But the social justice warriors had to infuse it with this feminist, feminazi, man-hating, man-bashing crap. And before any of you think that I hate women, no, I don't hate women. I mean, I like Catwoman. I like Batgirl. I like Wonder Woman. The Supergirl show sucks. But it's not because I hate Supergirl. It's because the show sucks. I mean, even like the Supergirl movie, that wasn't that successful. But it's way better than the show. I can tell you that. 